Hello there, my name is Valentine and welcome to this short video where I'll be showing you some tips and tricks on how to use Postman more efficiently and all this in just 2 minutes or less. In this video I wanted to show you how you can use the Postman console for debugging and in case you haven't seen that before the Postman console is located right here at the bottom and if you click it a new window will open up and inside there Postman will log all the requests that you have. So for example, in my case I have this request and for some reason isn't properly working. I'm getting this error. Now with the Postman console open, I can look inside and see that this request has been sent and when the request is being sent, I can switch between this pretty and this raw view. So I have the possibility of taking a look on how the request actually looks like. How was the body created? How was the request itself? Uh, how do the variables look like? <clears throat> so in my case, I will see here that these variables haven't actually been properly replaced with the actual ones. And for that reason, the request is failing. And this is something that the Postman console can help you with, can help you understand what exactly is being sent, what is Postman actually doing. So Postman will automatically log all the requests you send out, but you can add your own log entries as well. And that can be done with console log, so console.log. And in this case, I wanted to check if this environment variable is properly set here. So if I'm submitted this request, I will get another entry in the log and you'll see here a null. So this is the value that I have actually logged, but I can log multiple values as well. So for example, I can make here a simple indicator, Trello key, and then comma separated and can add multiple values. And this would make it a bit easier to recognize which requests actually went out. So I'll see here Trello key, then we'll still see value is null, so something didn't work at that point. And basically that's about it. This is the way you can easily debug your tests with Postman, inside Postman when something is not working, automatically all the requests are being logged. And if you need additional logs, just use console log and try to figure out what exactly, where exactly your scripts are not properly working. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you're interested in more tutorials like this one, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon. Give this video a thumbs up and see you next time at another tutorial. Bye bye. Thank you for watching.